welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. Yeah. In front of us we have the Texan R208. It's an AM FM portable radio that I picked up from Hong Kong for a total of $15. And here it is. The Texan. Yeah, I got a few Texans. I like these. Uh, so R208. AMF and portable, it says 200, I think that's 200 hours of runtime on 2D batteries. Not bad. Um, I don't know what that says. Probably Texan Radio's rule. Yeah. I'm guessing. <laughs> I don't know if it says yeah, but. <laughs> okay, so writing pretty much all Chinese on the box. Let's go ahead and open it up. See what's inside the box. All right, so we got the radio. We got some information. Let's see what we get. Uh, medium wave AM, in case we didn't know. FM radio receiver, operation manual. Please read this manual before operation. Let's read it together, folks. Yeah, there's a, what do you call it? You can pause, read, <laughs> installing the batteries. It's pretty difficult. Using the radio, pretty difficult. <laughs> uh, let's see, use the headphones. Okay, so on the back here, care maintenance. Okay, right here we got the frequency range, 530 to 1600 kilohertz on AM and 88 to 108 on FM. Select sensitivity is okay. We got selectivity. Power output, okay. All right, let's get to the radio. Bubble wrap, which is nice to see. And let's get this positioned here. Here we go. It's kind of a funky radio. I never know which way to put it. <laughs> all right, here it is, the R208. in all its shining green, black, and silver glory. I love it. <laughs> let's go over dimensions real fast. Five and a quarter inches across, three and a quarter inches tall, and has a depth of Two and a quarter inches. <laughs> yeah, dudes. This is the beefcake of all beefcake radios, man. You <laughs> definitely make a statement walking around with this thing. Yeah, and I walked around with it. <laughs> yep, I was that guy. <laughs> People don't know what to think. I think, what is that? Satellite radio? What is that thing? What is, what? I mean, when you see something this big, you're thinking, is, is he watching TV? Is he making a satellite call? <laughs> it's pretty interesting. You do get some stairs. Um, you do. <laughs> it is interesting. All right, so let's go size comparison here. Oh, my little tangents. We have CC Pocket, C Cranes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but this will run 200 hours. This won't. <laughs> this does pretty good, though. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got Iron Man. Just looking around here. Yeah, Iron Man. Yeah. All right, and then I think I had, what do I got laying around? Got a, okay, got a little baby shortwave radio. Here we go. This is the newly reviewed R912. Again, huge size differences. Jeez. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and talk about features of the Texan R208. Left-hand side, it just looks gigantic, doesn't it? <laughs> silver, black, silver. I mean, I do like the silver black theme. looks cool. Now, this carry strap is awesome. Look at that wide thing. You need to have this. What is like a... Half inch wide strap, yeah. I don't feel like I'm gonna drop it now. That's, that's good, you know, it's a lot of weight to it with this 2D batteries. So yeah, it's not a bad carrying strap there. Perfect. Okay, from the radio, we have a two and a half inch speaker behind a metal speaker grill. Very nice, I like that. We're Texan underneath there. We have a real strange dial for such a huge radio, this little tiny dial there, and you can barely see that indicator. You know, in strong light, you can see it, but it's it's right there, a little orange thing. Uh, so AM, there's your AM scale, like I read to you, I believe already, 530 to 1600 kilohertz, FM, 88 to 108. You have these weird band select buttons. Um, so this will light up, I believe, red with an FM and green on AM. So you hit these buttons when you want to pick the bands. It always defaults to FM. Uh, here we have AM, FM, radio receiver, R208. I like the green lettering on the black. That looks cool. All right, right-hand side. Tuning wheel. So it's got a nice tuning wheel to it. It's actually really smooth. Um, it's a wider knob. Same with the volume. It's uh, really nice, easy to tune, or tune, easy to use. Uh, here we have the on-off switch. Pretty basic until it's on there. That's good. It stays on there. You know your radio's on, you don't run it dead. Bottom, uh, yeah, I think it'll stand. Let's see. Is it too top heavy? Actually, it leans back a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> Tilts back a little. Will it fall back? No. But yeah, it leans back because the, the, they didn't make it completely flat on the back, which I don't know why, but they didn't. Uh, so the back of the radio, um, you see the antenna. 
antenna extends out 21 inches. Uh, pretty awesome. It rotates 360. Gotta love it. Uh, let's see what to say here. I can turn this radio. Texan R208. 10 with the circle. I think it's a factory thing. Uh, we have an earphone jack. Uh, this is nice. It's both ears, but it's mono. Um, it's decent listening to uh, with the headphones. Uh, if you need to use headphones, it's not a bad experience. It works. Uh, here we have the battery compartment. Open this up, and there's 2D batteries in there. Holy smokes. Yeah, so most of this radio is holding for those 2D batteries. Nice. Okay, so let's talk about FM reception, and then we'll turn it on and see what we can hear on the AM tonight. It is storming, so... Yeah, we'll hear what we hear, but I'll give you some little bit of uh, information on the AM band too. So FM reception report, FM sensitivity is okay. That's a two-star rating. I rate these radios on fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Excellent being five-star. So this gets an okay rating because I found about 35 stations total, and that was about it. It's an analog radio, which is nice, not DSP. I do like the fact that it is analog, but yeah, it kind of fell short on finding stations. FM, FM selectivity was okay also. Again, below average. Um, average rating is okay to good on FM radios. Uh, selectivity is it's interesting with this radio as you get closer to stronger stations. Uh, it tends to crackle and distort a little bit before you get on station. So it's just kind of an annoyance, uh, especially when you're wearing headphones. So if you're on FM wearing headphones, not as exciting. Uh, but when you're on uh, AM band, you're usually it's okay. You don't, there's none of that. So there's crackling and distortion there. So there it is, below average for an analog FM radio. Okay, now we're ready to do an audio test with the Texan R208. Let's start. Turn this up. Now that I'm on frequency. 97.7. I'm using a C-Crane FM transmitter 2 and a Sony Walkman MP3 player. Uh, working in tandem to transmit over 97.7 to this radio receiving on 97.7. There's the dial there. It's pretty close. All right. Cycle through a few songs, and then we'll hit the medium wave band. Taste of the audio for it. Sounds really good. Uh, once it's tuned in, we go ahead and unplug this transformer. We're going to go ahead and go into the AM band. Now, during the day, uh, it sounded really good. I was listening to local sports. 
uh, and some semi-long distance stations, nothing really far. When I say semi-long distance, for me, it's about 50, 60 miles at the most um, with this radio, not much more during the day. Um, at night, I haven't tried. So we're at the bottom of the band here. I think I'm at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see that through the camera lens here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see what we can find. There might be some storms going on, but we'll see if we can find some distance stations with this radio. And we'll zoom in. Time, we have 10.24 p.m. Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois. We'll keep the CC Pocket handy if we have to. to expect and and is the american are the american people in for uh three or four more days or people are going to start planning funerals or are they all going to be your tips to make your wallet smart Clark provides you with an incredible range of information so that you'll be empowered I apologize for the static, it's pretty loud in the lightning. This might be Nashville, let's and, find out. Okay, so that is 670. There we go, there's Nashville. Just picking it up. Okay, I don't know if I can get it that clear with this radio. Okay, there you go. So that, yeah, WSM, that's nice. Uh, so we're in Nashville, Tennessee, 434 miles. Good to find that. Let's go to 670, the score, see who they're talking about. It's my local station. Much earlier than a lot of people would think, you know, mm -hmm. Chandler Jones, Seymour, Tylaw, I mean, the list was mm -hmm. on and on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, perhaps John Gruden's been sitting for 10 years. Two strong stations close to each other. This is probably 700. Okay, there's music there, and that might be 690. I'm just going to check to see. Oh, it's 720 bleeding over. Okay, so there's a little bit of 700 WLW, WLW Cincinnati, but uh, we're not really picking that up tonight, probably because of storms. So let's go ahead and let's go to my locals. We can always revisit uh, these stations. So there's music on 720 um, on Saturday nights. It's kind of nice. Or uh, Sundays, too. No, it's nice. CFCM. Uh, so uh, Toronto, Ontario, 460 miles. Nice. What the heck? Okay, let me see where that's coming from. Why? Seven twenty bleeding black hole. Okay, so seven twenty is having a power trip there. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. Goodness, no. 
to 760. That was WGR Detroit. And uh, yeah, we'll just go up a little bit in here. It's not a great night for doing an band scan, but you get an idea. I can get these stations. My local 780. Yeah, the DVBM News Time 1030. Good evening. I'm Bob Conway. These are the top stories on News Radio WBBM boating tragedies this holiday weekend on both lakes. So, uh, would you have a serve on a board like that? I love the serve. Yeah, these storms are going to be all week, so I definitely still doing reviews. <laughs> I don't know what their station this is. Hmm, not sure where we're at on the dial. So we'll keep going up. got a good night from Malik Rozier. So um, you know, the bottom line is LSU is going to be formidable on defense this year, and you better show up and play error-free football with the defense because there's not going to be many points on the field against Ed Orgeron and LSU. And another impressive win for the Southeastern Conference on the national stage. Sometimes things never change. Busy weekend for us concludes. We're back with you next Saturday afternoon. A big one in the SEC. Okay, so we're at 1,000, so yeah, we jumped all the way up. ESPN. Final score, LSU 33, Miami 17. For David Norrie and Ian Fitzsimmons, along with our producer, John Madani. So Chicago, uh, and WMVP. So 1040 WHO, the one Iowa, 280 miles. I'm just going to cruise up the dial since the lightning is pretty bad tonight. turn this off and just give us a little bit of final thoughts on the radio um and we'll yeah call it so the texan r208 i got this for 15 bucks is it worth 15 bucks um during the daytime the am band's great you know nighttime here it was not great with the uh, lightning but we we're able to get some distance stations with it um which is nice so you look at zoomer but there's a lot of bleed over from the stronger stations so selectivity on the am band isn't fantastic at night um though it was decent during the day um this radio is unique in its fact that it takes 2D batteries and last um, can last 200 hours. But I don't see how that well that fits in when, say, you can buy a Sony P26 and its two batteries last about 100 to 110 hours. And this is two AA batteries. So the cost 
of running each radio is about, I don't know, even probably, or yeah, I'm not sure what 2D batteries versus two AA batteries costs. I'm sure double A's are much cheaper. So yeah, I mean, I would, instead of recommending this radio, I'd recommend the Sony P26. So do I recommend this radio to anybody? No, I don't. Uh, even though it has 2D batteries and it hits a unique crowd, I just, I can't re really recommend this radio. The only person that's gonna buy this is a collector of Texan radios who wants every Texan radio model they made, <laughs> seriously, uh, because it really is just kind of, uh, I don't know, it's just not not a spectacular radio. I mean, if you're going to buy a radio, you want the FM to work halfway decent, um, which it doesn't. Um, it has that crackling distortion issue. It's below average performance. Um, so it's something that, you know, you spend 15 bucks, I could spend an extra four 450 and get the Sony and be happy. And uh, even the sound quality, I mean, this, there's no bass to this thing. There's hardly any mid-range, a lot of highs, so it's, it's not a very great speaker. Um, so, yeah, this gets a no recommendation by Todd Herbert. Um, so if you're looking for a you know good radio, check out. I'm going to put a little links to the Sony P26. It's one of my favorites. Uh, also, I'm going to put a link to the Sanjin SR35. That radio is growing on me. Uh, the tone quality is really good on that speaker. I've really grown to love that lower tone quality. FM is amazing on that radio, just absolutely stellar. And the AM is good for local um, daytime stations, amazing. Uh, nighttime, I had difficulties with it nighttime, uh, locking in stations, uh, just because I like the DX stuff. So I've pretty much taken my DX to other radios. So with that little SR35, you can still DX. It just will be a little bit more challenging, but you'll enjoy that radio too. So I'll put those two links there. If you want to support the channel, by all means, uh, click the Amazon link, buy the radio, uh, and you're supporting my channel. You know, I get like a, a 4% of whatever the total cost is out of Amazon's pocket or out of the dealer's pocket, one of those two pockets, uh, and it goes to me versus uh, coming out of your pocket, which is really cool because you're going to buy the radio anyway. My recommendation, you know, I think that's awesome that uh, you can support me in that in that way. So there it is. If you enjoyed the presentation of the R208, Texan, give me a like. I appreciate it. Um, you know, I wanted to like this radio, but... It's just going to go in the box and uh, sit for a while until I compare it to other inexpensive radios. <laughs> Maybe this is better than a lot of those inexpensive radios. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, it's one of those things. Uh, two, uh, if you, you like Texan radios in general and you like the different models, you want to check them all out, check my channel. I got tons of Texan radios reviewed. Hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Get notified of new reviews of Texans. I've been looking at a few more. Yes. There's always more. Texan makes so many radios. <laughs> There's so many I haven't reviewed yet. Yes. I'm going to review them all eventually. <laughs> um, so be, be aware of that. Uh, three, comment below. We think about the Texan R208. In the comments below. Yeah. Yeah, I probably know what your answer is. It's it's not fantastic. I mean, it's usable, but it's not fantastic. Uh, and four, join me after hours at, over there on Patreon. I appreciate the support. Um, it's growing uh, every month. Love seeing new faces there. It's awesome. You guys are great. Um, enjoy the support there. You can uh, you know, listen to Old Time Radio. I put up there free. I think you guys have watched my videos enough to know, or if you haven't, uh, yeah, I have classic radio shows up there, no charge. Sit back, enjoy some really cool ones. And then I have a lot of neat free information in there. And plus, for the people who support me, I give a lot of extra content uh, that you normally I don't do on video. So yeah, check it out. I think you'll love it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care and goodbye.